Hi, in this video I'm going to explain how to understand a pedigree chart and here is the two uh, problems. As usual I recommend you to stop video here, try to solve each problem on your own first and when you would be ready you can run video again and you can compare your answer with my answer and explanation. So here is the first uh, problem. Is this a sex linked disease? Why or why not? So here is a pedigree chart and sex linked disease can be uh, such disease that is uh, can be uh, located or uh, genes can be located on the X or Y chromosome. So uh, let's first consider if it is uh, Y chromosome linked uh, genetic disorder and uh, if it's going to be uh, Y chromosome genetic disorder we would see uh, normal X chromosome and abnormal Y chromosome and when we cross with another uh, parent so this is going to be a male as you see XY and when we cross with another parent female we are going to get uh, genotypes and phenotypes as follows. So XX normal here, XX normal here, normal X here, and Y chromosome with um, defective uh, gene, and normal X and Y chromosome with defective gene. So as you see uh, this parent, male parent would be uh, affected and of course 100% of the male progeny also would be affected with this genetic disorder. As you see on this picture uh, male parent is not affected and uh, the progeny who is also males, uh, also, as you see, is not affected. So we can say that this is not Y uh, chromosome linked uh, genetic disorder. And let's consider uh, the second possibility when we have um, a parent, female parent, who is a carrier of the genetic disorder and whose genotype would be normal. X chromosome and another chromosome that is going to have a genetic disorder or one gene that would be mutated and would cause genetic disorder and here we have normal male whose genotype would be X and Y and when we cross two such parents uh, we are going to have here phenotypically and genotypically normal female normal male female that is going to be a carrier and male that is going to be affected with this genetic disorder so female or mother would be carer and wouldn't express this genetic disorder because she has one normal X chromosome and uh, recessive genetic disorder would be balanced with this normal gene and uh, here one of her daughters also would be a carer but phenotypically would be normal and this daughter also would be normal and 50% of the males would be normal and 50% of the males would be affected with this genetic disorder that is uh, caused by the gene, uh, mutated gene on the X chromosome. And as you see, this is also not the case because as you see here, uh, we have female that is phenotypically normal, phenotypically normal male, and none of the sons are affected with this genetic disorder but um, a daughter affected with this genetic disorder. 
and as you see we cannot see affected uh, females here when uh, normal phenotypically normal mother that is carrier so we can say that this genetic disorder is not sex linked not uh, x chromosome linked not uh, y chromosome linked and we can say that this is going to be um, autosomal genetic disorder and this is going to be a recessive genetic disorder so if we would have here small a small a that means that genotype of the parents would be uh, capital a small a here and capital a small a here next question is this disease sex linked what must be the genotype of the parents and once again uh, we can use these two pictures here if it's going to be y chromosome linked genetic disorder we would see affected uh, father and son but this is not the case here and if this is going to be uh, x chromosome linked genetic disorder we would see phenotypically normal mother and none of the females would be affected and we would see that 50 percent of the males would be affected so this is a possibility but is it the only one possibility uh, it is not so because this is very small pedigree and we can say that um, maybe this caused by the uh, mother whose genotype would be uh, one uh, gene that would be uh, mutated and one gene that is going to be normal so and uh, that's why one of uh, the sons would express this genetic disorder as an example here but uh, the other possibility would be the same as in previous example when this genetic disorder also can be autosomal recessive genetic disorder and genotype can be uh, capital A small a and capital A small a so the genotype here also can be small a small a so we cannot say for sure because this pedigree is very small if we would have a pedigree that uh, would go mm, three four five generations we would be able to tell that uh, more precisely whether it is autosomal recessive or whether it is x-link uh, genetic disorder so the first possibility would be x-linked genetic disorder and the second possibility would be autosomal um, recessive genetic disorder and this is all for today thank you for your attention please subscribe for my new videos that i post almost every day thumbs up if you like this video please write your comments questions if you have any and see you in the next video goodbye